Palau seas are teeming with life. Most of it concentrated here on the country's barrier reef. Stretching over 500 kilometers, it's one of the planet's few remaining pristine coral reefs. But this beauty comes with a fragility. It may have one of the most pristine reefs in the world, but the entire ecosystem here is under threat. Around the world, coral reefs are disappearing at an alarming rate. It's estimated over a third of all reefs will be destroyed or seriously damaged within the next 10 years. Climate change is warming seas, which has a devastating effect on corals, forcing them to eject the colourful algae that normally lives within them and bleaching them white. Much of the reef here in Palau has been spared, and that's in part because of the geography of the region. Water trapped by the lushly forested limestone cliffs forms a sort of lagoon and warms in the sun. But instead of getting bleached, the coral here has adapted to these extreme conditions and remains healthy. These are so-called super corals, and they only exist here in the Western Pacific. And that makes them fascinating for scientists, who hope they can be used to repair damaged reefs around the world. We bring the corals to the lab and then we uh, stress them, increase the temperature on the, in the, of the water that they're in, and to see which of them are surviving. And those would be our heat-tolerant corals. The efforts that scientists are making here show the healthy reef supports millions of species and on the edge of the reef in the fast flowing currents, sharks. There are 130 different species of sharks and rays in these deep waters here off the coast of Palau and over half of those are endangered. In order to protect them, Palau created the world's first shark sanctuary. There are strict laws in place, and anyone caught fishing for sharks or rays faces tough penalties. However, it's a lucrative business. Shark fins fetch big money in the markets of Asia, where they're used in shark fin soup. We've only been in the water for a few minutes when we come across this, a grey reef shark missing its dorsal fin. These illegal fishing vessels catch sharks, hack their fins off, and then toss the rest of the fish, still alive, back into the sea. The prospects for this shark are bleak. Without a fin to keep it upright, it'll soon tire, sink to the bottom of the ocean and die. As climate change decimates coral reefs and fish bear the scars of humans' greed, Palau's turquoise waters and the secrets they contain are a small beacon of hope in a vanishing underwater world. Oliver Varney on Palau's barrier reef. Al Jazeera's environment editor Nick Clark was also in Palau to cover the climate crisis. He was able to speak to Oliver while he was working alongside scientists on the seabed. All right, now let's establish contact with the team. If we toss this transducer into the water, we should be able to make a connection with Oliver. Oliver, tell us more about what you're seeing down there. Hi Nick, yes, I'm with a group of scientists who are studying super corals. Acidification occurs when the ocean absorbs more carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. And that's bad for corals and other creatures, as it makes it harder to build the skeletons and shells that they need to survive. By collecting samples of super corals and breeding them in the lab, scientists hope to create a strain of coral that is incredibly resilient to either higher temperatures or more acidic seas. They could then transplant them in reefs around the world, which have more fragile strains of coral that can't survive as the oceans change. 